Welcome to Switch Comics. My name is Marco, and I am joined today with Michael from Wahoo Comics. We have a new series called Know Your Keys. And this is, uh, this is a series for anyone that's out there going to cons or flea markets or yard sales. And you're in that situation where you have to quickly grab something. And you have to know the price kind of on the spot, maybe for whatever reason. And we've all been there where we've missed on something or could have bought something. But we didn't think it, we didn't know the price super well, or whatever the reason was, and then we went back home later and thought about it and be like, that was actually a good deal. And uh, for those all, all those people out there that have those echoing thoughts in their minds of something they could have bought and should have bought, this series is for you to help you know the prices and value and um, of of your keys. And you know we're we're out there setting up. I got a crazy kind of little experiment here. We're going to give Michael one minute. We're going to time him. And I'm going to show him a bunch of books. The setup is we're at a convention. He pulls up to this busy booth. Okay, there's people. He sees all kinds of people pulling out uh, all awesome keys and getting good deals and everything. He knows there's good de deals to be had. But he has to get in there and just grab them quickly. He can't pull out his phone and start looking at eBay. The longer he looks at his phone on eBay, the more keys he's missing out on. All right? So, do you think you're ready, Michael? I hope so, man. I don't want to blow it. Uh, I'm sure you'll do fine. Um, I'm more worried about me. <laughs> 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 I think I will be all right. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we're going to give you a minute. Afterwards, we will talk about each book and, uh, you know, the significance of each book, but also the uh, did he get a good deal? Did he pay just right? Did he overpay? Uh, you know, and we'll... we'll kind of talk it through and i think it'll be an interesting learning experience because i think it's pretty easy for most of us to know oh that's a key and even though you know that's the first appearance of this or that or whatever but how well do you know your prices yeah that's tough so the only information he's going to go off of is he's going to look at the book there's going to be a price and a condition so are you ready michael i'm ready you will have 60 seconds starting now Buy. Uh, buy. Uh, buy. Uh, buy. Oh, uh, buy. Uh, buy. Uh, and everything here. Uh, uh, pass. Uh, pass. Uh, bye. Uh, pass. Uh, bye. Uh, pass. Uh, 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 uh pass. Uh, uh, pass. Uh, uh, bye. And we hit did I get, the deadline. Did I, get, did, I get through, did I get through them all? You, yeah. I actually, so I only prepared fifteen okay. books. All right. And I was getting nervous there. You hit all fifteen. All right. This is the first time, obviously, we've done this. So uh, next oh. time, I will have to set up more. Oh. Um, I feel like you spent a lot of money. I, 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 feel like, <laughs> I, feel, I feel like I did too. I was like, uh, I expected in the practice. I felt I was passing a lot, and uh, but here I there are a lot of uh, pretty good buys. Uh, so yeah, a couple gonna... of them I'm not sure of. I, 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 <laughs> I try to get more. I try to get more stingy as I went on because I had spent so much money. It's it's really funny. So I had to I had to be writing checks and X's whether you bought it or not. So I actually wasn't even looking at the screen while you were buying it. So <laughs> I don't know what you got and what you didn't get. So it's gonna be interesting to go through it here with you. So let's review. So you bought Punisher two nineteen for fifty dollars yeah. near mint condition. And I guess before we reveal the information and everything, uh, tell me why you decided to buy this book. Yeah, so this was, it started off really tough for me because I don't know what the current price is on this book, but I know that this is the first Punisher is the War Machine or either the first cover appearance. 218 he might be in, I'm not, I'm not sure. But John Bernthal, who is the Punisher, supposedly has been seen on the set with uh, Don Cheadle. Uh, and and you know while they're filming Armor Wars, so it really seems like there's a great chance 
that this moment happens in the Armor Wars show. And so I think this is a good buy. $50 might be high now, uh, but I think, you know, if you're not, I think by the time Armor Wars comes along, if this happens, uh, this book is going to go crazy. I don't know, but I imagine the print run on this is pretty low as well. Uh, I've, I've, I've never, I've never come across uh, a seller, that, you know, other than like on eBay that has this book. Uh, so I've had, a, I, I want this book and, uh, and I hadn't spent any money yet. It was the first one. So I felt like I had a lot of money to spend. I, I might've, <laughs> I might've changed my mind if this was the last one, but that's yeah. where I'm at. As we go through here, I'm going to write down and see how much, uh, see how much you spent. <laughs> yeah. So you definitely spent 50 on this one. Yeah. Uh, I threw this one in as a bit of a curveball because it, uh, it got a lot of traction for the reasons you explained, but it has since gone down in price. Now this used to be like about a $70 book. And uh, it's cooled off. Uh, you know, not a lot has been talked about. Um, I almost said War Machine, but uh, Armor Wars in recent times. So as the comic market does, certain books like this people will forget about and will get pushed aside. Does not mean it's a bad book to get. Actually, I think it's a really good book to buy right now. Uh, I had one, and then I sold it in a mystery box quite some time ago, and I'd like to get another one. Uh, but yeah, so this is the first full appearance of the uh, Punisher War Machine armor. And um, there's a cameo in the issue right before. But yeah, I think it's a really good book. And you kind of saved yourself with that line. You're like, it might be a little high, but it, right, wasn't, right. it wasn't too bad. It, it was $10 extra. Yeah. And um, If I'm not looking to flip right away, if I've got until Armor Wars to sell it, that's, that's when I'd get it. I'm going to write both down how much you spent, but also um, how much uh, you have worth so we'll have a nice little comparison here at the end so on to the next one which you also bought was century number one at a uh, near mint for 65 dollars and i guess go ahead and tell me about yeah this. so this is the first appearance of the century uh, i think again it's another one with a low print run and i know at least it, this could be like the other one where it's been on a dip now but i know uh, not too long ago this was going for more than that it's a black cover which makes it hard to get as a near mint, I think. Uh, so if you believe in this character, I think I think that's a good buy. We'll see if you uh, surprise me again. I uh, I think this is a probably for the reasons you explained. I don't think I've ever seen one in, in person actually. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I imagine it would be a hard book to get in a good condition. And I got gotcha you at a hundred dollar value here. It is yes, like you said, the first appearance of the century, but also the void. Yep. Um, so you spent 65 and have a value of 100 That's a good purchase and potentially even a good book to hold on to. Yep. And then you also bought the next one here, as you did <laughs> for the next few. <laughs> Iron Man uh, 282 here. Yeah. Uh, $35 at an air mint minus. And this one, I, I accidentally, I was picking books at random and accidentally picked another Armor Wars book here. Right. But right. I'm a bit biased. I like Iron Man. So <laughs> yeah. that might have came out. But uh, yeah, what was your decision making in this one? Well, yeah, like you said, it's the first appearance of the War Machine armor. It's not who, who eventually becomes War Machine, but the War Machine armor. Yeah. Uh, the, for, I don't. I, I can't remember if it. There's a cameo in 281, maybe. But this is the 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 yeah, the book that everybody cares about. And I've bought a few of these over the past year. And I know if 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 any of these books I'm right on. I'm pretty sure it's this one. I think $25 yeah. <laughs> is an absolute steal. I think this is like a $100 book, easy. Yeah, it did get an absolute steal. Oh, it has, near... dro it has dropped. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, granted, this is at, at a near mint minus. It's going for about $60. It's dropped a little bit. Uh, again, no one's really thinking about Armor Wars right now. There has been zero news that I've heard recently about Armor Wars. Mm -hmm. um, but, yes, it is an absolute um, awesome book. It's actually one of the first slabs I ever bought. Um, it is the first cover appearance and the second appearance of the War Machine armor, and this is Tony Stark, but it doesn't matter. No one's going to go out there and get... I mean, some people are, but it's just it's not going to be the big book. It was like West Coast Avengers something. It's got a yellow background. It's a cool looking right. book. It's number 94. I have some of that, that, that book as well. But this is undeniably the best looking one out of the, oh, out yeah. all of his keys. Yeah. I love this book so much. Yeah, I've got my own, I've got my own copy getting cleaned and pressed as we speak. Nice, uh, nice. I love this book too. And then next one you bought was um, Hulk 449. Yeah, you bought that one. It's $75 at a near mint. Yeah. 
So this is the first appearance of the Thunderbolts. There's been a lot of speculation that the Thunderbolts will be in the, in the MCU at some point. With Baron Zemo, yeah, seeming to make a face turn. Uh, I think this book has cooled off some. So this is where, like, you know, it, it might not be as good of a deal as it was a year ago. I'm not sure where it's at right now, but I know a year ago this would have been a great deal. You know, when Falcon and Winter Soldier was happening and there's all the rumors about Zemo. And uh, I'm still not convinced there are going to be the Thunderbolts. I, if I were invest, if I were personally choosing between two books, I would get Dark Avengers number one uh, yeah. because I think that's a, you know, it could be either. And that's just so yeah. much more of an affordable book. Um, but I, I still do think this is a good deal. Yeah, I just recently bought this book uh, a couple months back or so. And uh, oh, it's in beautiful condition. It's one that I, I really am hoping for that 9-8 on because it is mm. a gorgeous book. Um, and we got $100 as the value for a near mint book. This one's a little surprising to me. I thought it would have maybe seen a bit more of a decline after or after the uh, the death of the actor playing uh, Thunderbolt Ross. Oh, and, yes, uh, right, yeah. So with that, this was kind of my leading theory was we will be getting the Thunderbolts. Now, granted, it's not completely stripped away because they could do something in the movie like um, he was trying to build this team and we're honoring him by taking his name or something like that. I could see uh, it's hard to say. Um, I, Dark Avengers is another good spec book as well. Um, but yeah, for me, this was kind of my leading theory. Uh, not so solid anymore. Sure. Um, but the market hasn't given up on this book yet. Yeah. So, um, let's see the next book, which you also bought. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is also you paid 90 one. bucks on. Yeah. This is also one I'm not certain of, and I might have overpaid on this one. Uh, it's the, I'm pretty sure the first appearance of the Grand Inquisitor, um, uh, or the Inquisitors, and they're in the Obi Wan. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> And I guess actually I'd be buying this to pretty much sell it right away, uh, but because you know the Obi Wan show is coming out in a couple of weeks, and uh, so I don't think, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what it's at right now though. So I might I might have uh, overspent here. Yeah. So if you're going to flip it immediately, you'd be getting a little bit of a loss at seventy five dollars. I did throw this one in because it had jumped up. Mm -hmm. And uh, to, to kind of trick you, to you know, you got me. Uh, it jumped up, but how much did it jump up? You know, yeah. So right, it is the first Grand, uh, Grand Inquisitor as well as the Inquisitors. So it's a good book, uh, but you paid a bit much for it. <laughs> you might want to get grade it and hope you get a nine eight on that bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next book on your streak of buying was Bloodstone yeah. number one. And uh, yeah, go ahead. You spent two hundred on this. So your biggest think, book so far. Yeah, so I think this is probably at about market value, and I might have overspent a little bit, but it's a book I want. Yeah, we were talking before. Yeah, there's factors to buy a book other than just uh, yeah investing purposes, and so of course this is the first appearance of Elsa Bloodstone, uh, and I have not been able. It's it's a, a low print run. Uh, so it's a hard book to find, especially in near mint. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's a strong chance that I'm speculating on her being in the Blade movie. It's kind of the female lead in that nice. movie. Yeah. Uh, so I, I I know this was going for Turner. Again, it's hard to tell because you know, all these comic boom numbers from last year. You know, kind of mm -hmm. everything's declining now. Uh, so this might have dipped some. But for me, if I saw it near mint, you you just don't come upon that much oh, no. and so so even if it is low so even if even if this is overpaying right now i think yeah eventually it's going to get back over 200 yeah every con i've been at since this book has started to pop off uh, most of the time i can't find it at all um once i was at a con and i saw two and since then i think i've maybe seen one at another con and this book has actually been going up so two hundred and fifty dollars is the current price for a uh, for a near mint copy, and then this is this is one of those books that, especially if you got a really nice one, try to get that bad boy graded. It goes for about about a thousand at a nine eight. So um, fun little fact: not only first Elsa Bloodstone, but first 
Nosferatu. Yeah. Which, is there a chance he could pop up in the MCU? I don't know. We got Blade and... It's gonna be some kind of. It's gonna be some kind of. Yeah, exactly. Some vampires gotta show. I hope it is Dracula, but somebody's gotta be there. It's never bad to have that bonus little yeah. key factor to a book, for so, sure. And this is a book. Yeah, I I really love it. I should be having my copy coming back from grading very very soon. The next week or nice. two, I think. Um, and then so this was the f- first book you didn't buy, right? Yeah. So, so I know this is the first appearance of She Venom. But I just don't know enough about this book personally. This might be a good buy. I don't know. Um, obviously, we had at least some She Venom in the first Venom movie. Yeah, you know, I don't know if it's the same character. I don't know enough about this character to know. And so, as I went through these lists, as we just kept going, I was like, started to because <laughs> I realized I've bought every book so far. That's part bought of the six in a row. <laughs> so uh, I realized. Yeah, this I think something important is that you know if you're looking at investing, stick with what you know. And I don't know a lot about this book or some of the other more modern books in general. And so I pulled away. It may be a good deal. I don't know. And right on the money at seventy dollars. So it would have been a fine price. You know, you wouldn't have yeah. uh, been too upset about it. It does have some spec. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised to see a She Venom pop up in the Sony verse. Mm-hmm. Uh, but also probably not a book that I would pay full price for either. Not something I'm super specking on or anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, the next book on your mini streak, uh, you had a very small streak of, okay, I won't buy things before giving up. But the next one was uh, Spider-Gwen yeah. 24. And what was your reasoning on this one? Yeah, so just another book that I don't know. I just don't know as much about moderns in general. Yeah. Uh, so again, this could be a great deal. I just don't know enough. I, I, it's the first appearance of Gwenham, I think, right? Yeah. Uh, or something like that. So it could be a steal. I just don't know. This is one I tried to trick you on. I tried so hard. Okay. Uh, it's the second printing. Oh, you might have got me with Ultimate Fallout. I noticed that one, too. We'll see that. Comes <laughs> Did you, yeah, you might have got me with that one. So a uh, very important factor to oh, know yeah. on this one. See it, yeah. The blue title. Uh, is the second printing. The white title is the first printing on this one. Um, and if it was a first printing, $100 book, you would have been... Okay. Yeah, that's why I was like, oh, let's, you know, I'll make it seem like a really good price, you know. Uh, but ultimately, if you did buy this one, which you didn't, you didn't buy it for the uh, for the right reasons. <laughs> but you, you passed on it regardless and saved yourself a little bit of money. Um, but yeah, I did try to throw in a couple of curveballs here and there. Uh, so the next one we have Iron Man, um, yeah, uh, one twenty eight, and twenty five dollars for a very fine book. And this one you did buy, yeah. So this is yeah one of the most classic Iron Man stories there's been, and the most classic cover from that run. Uh, and uh, so I'm pretty sure twenty five dollars a very fine is a good deal. One of the things I'm looking at this particular cover I just recognized. I didn't see this the first go around, but it's the uh, UK version, the print, the the pence uh, variant. Uh, so yeah, that can maybe oh, you didn't even, maybe you didn't even nope. recognize that. That was an accident. That was an accident. Yeah. Okay. Um, now that you got me thinking, you're tricking me. I'm like, oh, looking for everything. Oh shoot! I, it's the I tried really hard to <laughs> because there's some pictures I I grabbed off the internet and right. then I got them and they didn't have barcodes and stuff. They're you know just like sample promo pictures. And right. I was like, dang it, I can't use this one. I'm, I want to be very exact, but I did miss the pence. We're going to pretend it was a regular. Okay. Uh, <laughs> because that's what it was meant to be. Uh, so, yeah, $60. I did this one as a bit of a trick as well because uh, for this kind of the same reasons, like with, you know, no one's really talking about um, with Armor Wars right now. I'd be like, yeah, you know, Iron Man's been dead for a good minute now. You know, his stuff is, is probably cooled off or whatever. However, this is a very classic, iconic cover. One that, again, I have grading, uh, being graded right now mm-hmm. and hopefully we'll be having back soon. It'll definitely be hitting that wall, also with the Bloodstone. Uh, but, uh, yeah, there is... Um, I think some people might think that, oh, you know, oh, you know, nobody's going to care about his stuff anymore. It doesn't have any spec value. And granted, yeah, it's not going to see any big booms here anytime soon. But it will definitely hold its value 
Mm-hmm. Um, and I also tried to trick you. I was like, we'll just put a very fine in here. We'll, we'll throw a very fine into the mix and see if that yeah. makes it comfortable. I've been looking for this book, so uh, oh, I, I, know, I, know, I know that's a good deal. If I saw it for 25 very fine, I'd snatch it right off. Yeah, I think we have uh, – now, granted, it's a little bit nicer than a very fine, but we have one up at our shop. At, I think it's about $100, something yeah. like that. Uh, but the next book, and you did not buy this one. Right. This is – this is the hottest book in town. Yes, that's why I did not buy it. <laughs> uh, and it may be possible to quick flip it, you know, but, uh, you know, we just got new. Of course, it's the first appearance of El Muerto. We just got news that they're, <laughs> to the shock of everyone, there, there's going to be an El Muerto movie. And so this went from a dollar bin book to all of a sudden, uh, prob- probably 50, I would guess, is right around what it's going now. It might even be going a little bit higher. I mean, it's just so new to be good. I'm, yeah, the fluctuation right now is crazy. Yeah. Do you know what it spiked um, to? I think I saw copies about a hundred at one point, but I'm yeah. not. I'm not sure of that. Yeah, uh, it was going. It was going for about a hundred. So I was, I was kind of hoping. I was like, maybe he's seen some of those numbers. Right. Uh, well, I didn't try I have, to trick you because it's cooled down to forty dollars now. Yeah. So you saved yourself there, and yeah, first uh, f- uh, f- first appearance of El, El Morto, but also cameo of El Dorado. Uh, but yeah, this book has definitely seen some cooling off. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it uh, personally, because I don't trust Sony to make any kind of good movie. Right. But I do think a lot of people will see this movie. Uh, yeah. Not necessarily uh, here in America. I think it'll be a big international movie. Yeah. Because uh, Bad Bunny is one of the largest musicians in the world. Yeah. Um, and a lot and of so people. I definitely think. Yeah. So I I plan to buy this book at some point. Just not right now. You know, I think you know a few months from now when there's no news, you know, it'll yeah. just like that, just like the Punisher two nineteen. Yeah, it'll it'll dip, and then that's a good time to buy. And then so the next one, which you did buy at six. <laughs> now I was trying to. I was. I was trying. I'm pretty sure this is probably a trick, <laughs> but I didn't want to pass on it. It's got to be a trick, right? Yeah. This. Must we'll we'll be go ahead and get into it. Renting. Yeah, it's the oh. facsimile. Oh, I got killed. <laughs> I got killed. You bought yourself a ten dollar book for six hundred, my man. I knew I was getting tricked. I was on the clock. <laughs> oh man, I knew it's too good. Of, I should have just not. That's too good of a deal. Yeah. So it, you don't know the tell on the facsimiles? I see it. Uh, well, I see the barcode at the bottom left, right? The barcode will be all the way to the spine, but then also uh, the little Marvel logo underneath the ultimate there yeah is it a different color right yeah is it red is red is the facsimile the, gray is yeah. the real one. right yeah so uh, <sighs> so i i and i, I intentionally set this one yeah. up to, to i trick knew you. i knew as soon as i said bye because six hundred dollars for a near mint yeah. plus is a steal on a regular <laughs> that's <laughs> why i just got i should have known yeah it's just too good yeah <laughs> i got got uh after spending my some money, though, ruined. my night is ruined. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is gonna hurt you. You're not. I don't think you're gonna recover on this. Now, granted, you went on a you know a bit of a hiatus here, so you passed on yeah. um, the Walking Dead here. Um, this so one this you're just is, not very familiar with. Is the first appearance of Michonne? Uh, I don't know what it retails at, but in general, I'm not. I think Walking Dead is just cooling off uh, mm-hmm. as a phenomenon. And so I'm not looking to invest in any of those books. It's possible that this book goes for a lot more now, and maybe I buy it down and sell it quickly. But I think everything, except for maybe issue one, is just going to continue to go down over time. So I'm just not looking to invest in, in Walking Dead books. While uh, and this one I, I, again, I put a lot of tricks in here. I'm a devious little man, aren't I? <laughs> um, so a near mint copy of this one is a $200 book, uh, and I put this one here as a trick as well because yes. Everything Walking Dead has definitely cooled down. Uh, but this book has stayed about a $200 book in a near mint condition for mm-hmm. a while. We sold one not too terribly long at our shop for $200. Uh, there are certain keys that even, uh, kind of going back to the Iron Man 128, uh, right. even though there's no hype, any no anything going forward with that particular uh, IP, um, it will have a stain power. And will remain a very solid book. Uh, this is probably just going to be one of those that it's you know it's just going to be a two hundred dollar book for the foreseeable future. Um, so it's it's important to know. Uh, and this is and this part of this too is is uh, is a little bit of an educational experience. Mm-hmm. Um, 
you know, uh, it's important to know those certain books that persist through um, through the difficulties of, of the other books of their uh, franchise. So, another book you did not buy was yeah. Samurai Santa! So this might have been an incredible buy. I just don't have the market value. So I know this, I'm pretty sure this has the first art we, artwork by Jim Lee, I yes. think. Yes, yes. Uh, and so it's a fantastic book to have for that reason. Again, I just try to be disciplined and sticking with what I know. I just don't know what the fair market value is on here. It's possible this is like a four hundred dollar book, and I really blew it. But I just I just don't know. But this book, but for name Jim Lee character, get okay. Yes, yeah, so I, I didn't miss it by too much. Not yeah. a big one, but if anyone out there sees the Solson Christmas special at ninety dollars, and it's in near mint, I got near mint minus because I was being fair on this book. It's hard to mm. find in general, but look at all that black. Look at all that black yeah. it, and the age. I can't rem- uh, remember the year off the top of my head, but it is a very hard book to find. And then when you do find it, it's very hard to find in good condition. Uh, so if you were to see one in near mint minus for ninety dollars, I would st- I would grab that so fast. I have a copy of this one. It's an okay, maybe I haven't looked in a while, but maybe like an eight or so. Um, mm. And it's a very fun book. Um, this one maybe not the easiest book to flip. Um, but if the artist Jim Lee means anything to you, um, then it is a very cool book to have in your collection. And I'm sure you could find someone that, uh, would very appreciate this book uh, at, at such a nice condition, you know? Um, and then the next one you also didn't buy, uh, as I click the wrong button, there we go. Uh, Avengers Forever number one. Yeah. So I know... I know I heard why this went up, but I forget what it was. This is a pretty new book, right? Yeah. yeah and yeah. so I know it's got the first appearance of something, but I don't know. And because I, probably $5 is a great deal right now, um, but I, I don't know. And then again, I'm skeptical. If you saw my book on a video I did a while ago on the Lindy effect. The more recent something is, uh, the less likely I am to invest in it because there just hasn't been an established pattern with it. So if $5, $5 is such a low buy-in is probably worth buying it for whatever it is. I mean, it's gotta be close to cover price. Oh um, um, uh, yeah. It's so this one, yeah, I threw in cause it's a newer key. Some people might not know. And it looks like you didn't. It was the first cover appearance of captain Carter. Oh uh, yeah. There's many, I didn't bother listing them, but there's many, it's an alternate reality story. And there's, right. there's like a, a Tony Stark that's Ant-Man or something, you know, a bunch of like weird little crossovers and, and stuff. None of those really matter. It's the first cover appearance of Captain Carter. That's why the book has gone up, but it's only about a $10 book right now. Not granted. If you wanted to, you know, if you picked it up for a few bucks and, and you could flip it for 10 bucks, um, you know, that's a little bit of money. Not, not nothing big here. Mainly. I just want to kind of show this one off and see mm-hmm. if, uh, if anyone, um, I don't know, knew it or, or recognized it. I don't even remember where she's at. Oh, there she is in the kind of mid right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, there's just so many characters on on the cover. It's like <laughs> it's it's like a Where's Waldo situation. Yeah, right. And the last book, which you did buy, was Omega Men. Yeah. And so you spent seventy so, bucks on this. So this is the first appearance of Lobo. Uh, that might be a little bit of an overpay. I'm not sure. I think that's you know it's probably pretty close. Um, I was able to get a near mint copy a year ago at a great deal. So I have, but I think if you're a Lobo fan, which I am, it's just a good book to have in your collection. So I'm guessing this is either right at market value or maybe this is a little overpaying, but I just like um, Lobo. Honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> Let's see. A little over. A little yeah. over. Um, so <laughs> uh, I'm going to quickly tally you up here and see what your totals give me, are. Give me the tally with and without the ultimate fallout, because obviously I got just <laughs> destroyed. I'll, I'll be generous. I'll be generous. Alrighty, so I have the numbers here. <laughs> so counting the ultimate fallout for Fiasco, you spent $1,210 and walked away with a value of 755 <laughs> Not very good. No. Uh, now, if you hadn't made that purchase... You would have spent ten less dollars, so only seven hundred and forty-five dollars. Uh, but you would have only spent six ten 
and that's not too bad. That's not too bad. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> I did made well one, without that one. Yeah, one, one big one, blundering one mistake. Kind of <laughs> cataclysmic, chaotic. Yeah. I'd quit the hobby if that happened in real life. Yeah, which is is something that I mean I I don't know if you've you know been keeping up with it, but it keeps happening. Uh, there was sure. even yeah. Uh, I forget who it was, but there was like an established company that sold a, a, a graded copy right. uh, yeah. here recently, and it's and I'm sure if you go on eBay, you'll you know and and really fine comb through everything, you'll find more people buying yeah. the facsimiles. But and th- funnily enough, that's one of my videos that continues to get a decent amount of views, just persisting through time. Is my "Don't Get Scammed oh, with Facsimiles" right. <laughs> video that I made. Um, and um, I almost threw another one in here, and I was like, "I'm, I'm, I'm already being too mean to him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off." <laughs> but it is important to learn your differences between facsimiles, second printings, uh, and sometimes, you know, second, third, you know, especially when you get to like those seventh printings. Sometimes you can really yeah. get some extra value onto your book. But it's important to know those things, and yeah. it's hard because there's a bajillion comics out there. And the uh, prices are always changing, but uh, I don't know. I think if you're in the the business of trying to invest and make money, this is just important stuff that you have to keep in your brain as best you yep. can. Um, so overall, what did you think of of the experience of the very first episode of Know Your Keys? Yeah, that was fun. Obviously, I didn't know a lot of what to expect under the general concept, of course, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. My heart was pounding, you know, like uh, under the pressure. But that's how it, it is. It simulates, yeah, you know, how it can be at a con. Yeah, you know, if you're at a place where everybody's picking through boxes, or or I've been to a flea market before where you know people are, yeah, you know, they're like dollar bin, and people are combing through, and you're like, oh, I got to get through these books quick, and 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 you do feel that pressure, and so it's fun to to yeah simulate that. Yeah. I uh, yeah I hope uh, that I somewhat yeah ga- simulated that experience for you, and I hope you all played along at home. Um, you know I'd, I'd be curious. Now, granted, you have the the oversight to be able to be like, oh, I, I picked everything right. But <laughs> you know, if, if any of y'all want to tell the truth, feel free to in the comments. Maybe I tricked you on some. Maybe you were just surprised in general at certain books holding or maybe losing some of their value or growing in value. Um, but uh, that's going to be it for the first episode. I hope to do more of these in the future. I hope to get better at them as I go on. I might cut the time back a little bit, maybe 40 seconds. I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to do some experimentation with it. But I had a lot of fun, and thank you for joining me, Michael. Definitely go check out Wahoo Comics. He's been on the channel quite a few times now. I really like making videos with him. Um, and, yeah, I'll have a link you know, for his channel and everything in the description. And that's going to be it, uh, and we'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.